Hey, good afternoon. My name is Kareem. Uh, a lot of people call me cream cheese, ice cream, or cream puffs, a lot of dairy products. So I've been living in my car for seven months, and I would like to share with you my pros and cons uh, about laundry, parking, sleep, bathroom, food, showers, safety, noise, relationships, freedom, trash, temperatures, judgment, wildlife, gas, stores, changing, and quality of life. So without further ado. So you might be wondering, what about laundry? What do you do with laundry? Well, cons. You're gonna have to go to the laundromat and spend money like everybody else. On average, I spend about $5 every two weeks for laundry. That's because I go to the gym every day. And the pros are with laundry, you don't have to keep up with uh, maintenance. And if you have a friend or family or a colleague or anybody that has a washer and dryer, you can go to their place and do it for free. So you might be wondering, where am I supposed to park? The cons are you're gonna constantly have to be moving around. And the pros are you're constantly moving around. It's an adventure. I know what you're thinking now. I do. You might be thinking that you're gonna get judged. And you are. But think about it. Aren't you gonna get judged if you have a bad apartment in a bad location? Aren't you gonna get judged if you live in a expensive apartment in an expensive location? You're gonna get judged no matter what you do. Cons. Living in your car can be kind of scary and uh, people are always going to look down on you, but there are ways around that. You could actually uh, be stealthy. Pros, if you want to stay under the radar or undercover, you can get your windows tinted and also get a sun visor in, in front of your car or your windshield. Or you could just let go and kind of Stop caring and be free. Sometimes when you go fast for so long, it's like... So you might be thinking about storage. You might say, hey, I have a lot of stuff. What am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff? Well, you could donate them. That would be the right thing to do because I did not. Unfortunately, I just threw them away, which I regret. Why don't you just donate them and be proud of yourself? Cons, it forces you to be a minimalist, which is not that bad. Personally, I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to realize less is more. Pros, you get less stuff. That means you have to work less. That means you have more freedom. And that also means it's good for the environment. I got a feeling that you're probably wondering where am I gonna change well if you're like me you could change in your car what if well what if I can't change in my car you can't really have privacy all the time you do some of the time or most of the time but not all the time you can go to Starbucks that's my favorite place because they're everywhere and you get your own private bathroom Another one is Taco Bell. Or even better, why not go to the gym? If you're not a member, that sucks. So you're probably thinking, there is no way I need to shower. I'm a very clean, hygienic person. It's important. Well, cons. You can't just take shower at a snap of a finger. You're not Thanos. Pros, you could use wet wipes or you could use solar shower but you could buy a Walmart for like 10, 15 bucks. Or you could be like me, you could go to uh, the gym. So food, you might think that there is no way I could survive without an oven, microwave, or a stove. I'm a chef, I love cooking. Cons, well you can't store lots of food because you live in your car, you're limited on space, but you could still Get what you want. You can cook outside if you really needed to. Pros, you don't waste food anymore. 
You don't have to clean the microwave anymore. You don't have to clean the fridge anymore. You don't have to clean the oven anymore. You're free. So you might be thinking, what about relationships? What if I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend? What am I supposed to do? Cons. Uh, good question. Pros. Well, you could go to their place. You could go to their house, their apartment, their condo. You could go to a restaurant, movie theater, basically anywhere besides your car. A lot of people are probably wondering, what about trash? What am I supposed to put all my trash? I'm a consumer. I buy the newest iPhone every year. Cons. For you to live in your car, you're gonna have to learn how to be a minimalist because you're very limited on space and you're gonna have to do with what you got. Pros, living in your car is actually really good for the environment because you're not a consumer. So you end up having less stuff, less stuff in the trash, less stuff in the ocean, less stuff in our air. So you're probably thinking to yourself, what about gas? Don't you spend a lot of money on gas? I mean, you live in your car, you're always having to move around. I mean, that gets to be expensive, don't it? Cons, that's true. Uh, when you live in your car, you have to move around. Even though you don't want to, you, you don't want to be casual or you don't want to make yourself complacent because no matter where you go you're always trespassing that's why you want to move around even though it's okay to get comfortable but you gotta set a limit pros i personally like driving i like the scenery i like it and you can listen to audiobooks while you're driving so you can always listen to somebody that adds value to your life so you might be thinking, where am I supposed to go to the bathroom? I can't live in my car. Cons. Well, you can't just go anytime you feel like it. Pros. You can go anywhere. Restrooms are everywhere. There's restrooms right here. Or you can go to Walmart. Safety. You might be thinking, hey, I'm just a little girl or I'm just a little boy with only one testicle. I don't want to deal with a bunch of weirdos, a bunch of drug addicts, a bunch of alcoholics. How do I overcome safety? Cons. Since you live in your car, there is a very good chance that you're going to run into a bunch of drug addicts and a bunch of drunks, a bunch of mentally disabled people, a bunch of broken people. And that makes a lot of sense if you live in a rough neighborhood or a, a rough area. But you don't have to stay there. You could move. Pros, since you live in your car, you have the ability to move. Being scared is not a bad thing. You should be scared uh, because you're in a dangerous environment. That's just your body telling you, hey, there's something wrong here. We gotta go. You're taking a risk, which you don't have to do. So you might be wondering, how could you possibly sleep comfortably if you live in your car? The cons are, you're not gonna sleep comfortably when you first start off, because you're gonna be paranoid the whole time. And the pros are, you're gonna figure it out. Well, there is a way, there's a, where there's a will, there's a way. All right, I know exactly what you're thinking. You're probably wondering if living in a car is anything similar like living in a oven. Absolutely, yes, it can, but there are ways to get around it. Are there people who live in the Sahara Desert where it's extremely hot? Are there people who live in Alaska where it's extremely cold or Siberia? Pros, unless you find some shade under a tree somewhere, maybe a garage, you're gonna be very miserable during those hot summer days. In those cold winter months, you always could wear layers of clothing, extra socks, you could wear your beanie cap, jacket, extra blankets, maybe drinking some hot chocolate, some hot tea. Wouldn't hurt. Since we're at it, why don't we just talk about it? A lot of people are probably curious, hey, if you live in your car, aren't you eventually gonna run into some wildlife? Cons, unfortunately, no. I mean, your chances increase dramatically because you're always outside, right? You're not inside a box 
for most of your time. Pros. I wish that I would run into wildlife. Obviously, I don't want to run into a wolf or anything like that. But talking about like deer or just wildlife. So you might be thinking, noise. I like a lot of noise. I like listening to music loud. I like watching my movies loud. Cons. If you want this life to be sustainable living in your car, that's going to have to change or just wear a headset. Pros, you actually get to go outside and experience the real TV, reality TV. And your ears will thank you when you're 100 years old because you could still hear. So you might be wondering how much freedom does a guy or a girl living in their car get? How much is too much? Cons. Well, you actually get too much freedom because sometimes you just want to lay down in a couch or lay down in your bed and watch Netflix, watch Game of Thrones and eat chocolate ice cream all day or whatever your fa favorite flavor is. The pros are if you are at your apartment or home or condo, wherever you are watching Game of Thrones all day, watching the latest season, the newest one, I kinda envy you. I'm jealous, I, I really am. But at the same time, I'm not. But I still am because I haven't seen the final season. Um, but you know, skies and all I'm thinking about is Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, but you get freedom though. <laughs> you get to feel, you get to hear the birds, feel the breeze, feel nature. Oh, by the way, I know there is a, pit, a rip in my pants. And I was like, am I really gonna let this stop me? There's a rip in my pants in a bunch of my videos. It's, it's my pants, I gotta sew it. I'm not gonna buy new pants, that's for sure. So I saved this for last because it's important. I didn't have to add this in here. So I'm just gonna share with you my perspective on what about quality of your life? Does it tarnish, diminish? Cons are that when you first start off, you're very limited. You might have to learn a routine because just like everybody, when you first start anything, you know, you're nervous and you're scared and it's natural, but that can be crushed with time. Well, what are the pros of living in your car? Well, you're free. You don't have to work as much or you could work even more so you could save money and put it away. You have so many options. There are basically no excuses to not do anything. Anything you want to do, you can do it. In my personal opinion, there are a lot more pros than cons when you live in your car. And it's crazy that I'm saying that because seven months ago, I would have completely disagreed with you. Well, thank you so much for watching American Nomad. And until next time, I will see you soon. And this video is inspired by Jen Just Left, Steffi Lee, Vibrant Peace, Mission Mike, Outlaw Aaron, man, Women are crushing it these days. Go, 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 go